Hello everyone. In this seventh part of stereochemistry of semester five, we will try to understand the stereochemistry of E2 reaction. This is a question in the chapter one, paper three zero one, semester five. So first, let us try to understand the E2. What is E2 reaction? So in given example, you can see that this is alkyl halide, this is halide group, and this is its beta carbon, from which beta hydrogen and halogen from the alpha carbon eliminated. And this reaction is called elimination reaction. And new double bond is a form between alpha and beta carbon, which is common element of the any elimination reaction. It is a totally reverse than the addition. In addition reaction, gradually triple bond turn into double bond, double bond into single bond. Here it's the reverse. In elimination, single bonded compound converted into doubly bonded compound, and which is gradually to triple bond compound. Now, the rate of this reaction is depend upon concentration of alkyl halide. and base and therefore this elimination reaction is called e2 reaction where e stands for elimination and 2 stands for bimolecular elimination reaction so this is the meaning of e2 reaction e2 reaction may occur according to two different mechanisms thin elimination and anti uh, elimination you can see that here in this example leaving group and its beta hydrogen if eliminate from the same side if they are coplanar in that case this mechanism is called thin elimination while in this example you can see that the leaving group and its beta hydrogen they lie in the opposite side in such case the mechanism is called anti elimination by molecular elimination e2 reaction that occurs as per the anti mechanism it means that leaving group and its beta hydrogen eliminate from the opposite side let's see the example dehydrohalogenation of the 1 bromo 1 2 diphenyl propane you can see that here bromine and its beta hydrogen get eliminate in the form of hbr new double bond form between alpha and beta carbon and the product is called 1 2 diphenyl propene now the reactant having two asymmetric carbons you can see here sign so as per the 2 raise to n formula four isomers are possible for it the product is also geometric product so for that also two of its isomers e isomers antigen and zusamen these two isomers are possible reactant 1 bromo 1 diphenyl propane is i have told you four isomers are possible because of the presence of two stereo carbons i am sorry two asymmetric carbons these two erythro and these two thrio isomers are possible let me remind you here you can see that both the hydrogens lie at the same side in both the isomers such isomer is called erythro if you want to know further you can check the playlist i have posted one video about erythro and thrio and these two isomers you can see that the two protons they are at opposite side such isomers are called thrio isomers so these are the four isomers of the reactant now first let us check the reaction first two erythro isomers this is called fischer projection let us write it it's so horth projection let me show you how we can write 
this carbon is this the phenyl group attached with this carbon is written into the plane below the two groups bromine and hydrogen attached with this carbon are written as it is left and right here this is a c single bond c which is here the methyl is at left side and hydrogen is at right side to this carbon in a similar way they are written over here and again the phenyl group attached with this carbon is can be written this way so this is the sohorth projection but you can see that the bromine in its beta hydrogen the mutual bond angle is not 180 degree because already i told you that e2 elimination occurs as per anti elimination means that the mutual bond angle between bromine and its beta hydrogen must be 180 degree so here you can see that this is the carbon single bond carbon so its conformation is possible so bromine is moving this way accordingly the other group hydrogen and phenyl also will be shift and here you can see that the hydrogen move here so phenyl accordingly to the place of methyl and methyl at the place of hydrogen but now you can see that i have circled beta hydrogen and the bromine living group because now they attain anti planarity means now their mutual bond angle is 180 degree opposite and now e2 elimination takes place as a result new double bond form between these two carbon and we are getting here z isomer what is z isomer you can see that here to both carbons one group is common phenyl but other groups are different methyl and hydrogen so we can't say they are cis or trans in such case we can use the term z isomer or e isomer let me remind you you already learned this thing in semester 2 but to assign priority orders we are taking help of cip rules kahn ingold and prelog the same rules which we are using in a rs nomenclature higher the atomic number of the group higher the priority so here you can see that phenyl group so carbon sixth element atomic number 6 and here hydrogen so 1 and 2 similarly both the groups are same carbon and carbon then we are comparing the other atoms so phenyl having higher priority than the methyl so 1 and 2 now we can say that equally prior group 1 and 2 they lie at the same side of the double bond so such isomer is called z isomer zusamen the german meaning of zusamen is together now this isomer is a mirror image of this one same thing again first we convert it to sohors they attain anti planarity 180 degree bond angle and they also produce z isomer it means that both erythro isomers on dehydrohalogenation they give rise z isomer product now let us check the same kind of reaction of 3o isomer so our projection bromine and beta hydrogen they attain anti planarity they removed undergoes dehydrohalogenation but this time they give rise e isomer because you can see that equally prior group 1 and 1 they are mutually trans to each other opposite side so such isomer is called angigen in german it is opposite so 1 and 2 1 and 2 you can see that both are diagonally across similarly this 3 isomer is mirror image of this one again sohors move and attain anti planarity after attaining 180 degree they undergo dehydrohalogenation e2 elimination and again we are getting e isomer so that way we can say that the necessary condition for e2 elimination is anti planarity between the living group 
meaning is that both living groups must be mutually at 180 degree and let me add that the previous example is example of stereo selective and stereo specific reaction if you don't know what is stereo selective and stereo specific i have posted a separate video for that uh, mostly we are uh, video number 5 now let us try to understand what is a syn elimination because we have seen so far anti elimination reaction i have already explain you in a syn elimination the living group and its beta hydrogen eliminate from the same side of a plane so here you can see that example of a deuterated deuterium is there deuterated non borneal bromide now this is a rigid compound because it is a bicyclic system so like here in this case this compound move and its conformation attain the anti planarity because of the possibility of free rotation about carbon single bond carbon that is not possible over here because this compound is a rigid moreover you can see that it is a bicyclic system and this carbon where my cursor is that is a common carbon between both the planes so here syn elimination uh, i am sorry anti elimination is not possible because you can see that the bromine is here this is its carbon this is the beta carbon and this is a beta hydrogen and you can see that the bond angle between bromine and beta hydrogen is 120 degree anti elimination require 180 degree angle which is not possible here so in such case where anti elimination is not possible then only syn elimination take place now in syn elimination bromine and deuterium from its neighboring beta carbon get eliminate and see they are planar uh, uh, they are coplanar they are parallel their mutual bond angle is a zero obviously they are parallel but still they undergo syn elimination and we are getting as a product 94% major product doesn't contain deuterium which is proof that in this reaction it follows syn elimination because deuterium and bromine from the same side get eliminate so only and only when anti elimination is prevented not possible then only syn elimination uh, is occurred so if we summarize we can say that for anti elimination it requires 180 degree dihedral angle between living groups that is called anti planarity now second point if that is not possible if not achieved then anti mechanism either slow down or mostly prevented and finally if it is a prevented then and then only syn elimination occur so i hope that you understand the stereochemistry of e2 elimination we have discussed both possibilities anti elimination which require anti planarity that is 180 degree bond angle between both living groups and if that is not possible in such cases only syn elimination occurred